Hey guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. I'm actually filming this at like a weird time for me. It's um, a quarter till 10 p.m. on Thursday night, and you guys are gonna see this tomorrow night, you know, or whenever you have time to. Um, Morty sends his love. Anyways, I was just watching that girl Shay XO. I used to be so obsessed with her, and um, I kind of fell off when she was talking about Sigma and ColourPop all the time. Um, but she's doing Shaprel, Shaprel, like a video marathon. And she's talking about like a bunch of old school products and just how YouTube used to be and all of that. And she used a bunch of throwback products. And it just really got me feeling inspired, especially because last week we had filmed uh, my oldest products. So I thought we would maybe revisit that again and look at more of, I guess, YouTube traditionally old products or iconic products. And yeah, we'll just kind of shop the stash for that. So here we go. If you're ready for this week's weekly makeup basket, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right. So in front of you is last week's basket. Let's let's just like zoom in a little bit. There we go. All right. So last week, like I said, was um, the oldest products in my collection. And y'all, I loved my makeup every single time I applied it this week, and I applied it almost every single day. I just feel like in quarantine, like obviously. <laughs> We are all in our house, our homes all day unless you are an essential worker and you still have to go to work, which thank you. <laughs> um, but I still feel like getting up and putting makeup on still just makes me feel like some sense of normalcy and happiness and joy. So I do enjoy it. And plus I'm still doing like video one-on-one um, -on -one personal training sessions and I'm doing live workouts on my Instagram at MakeLifeFit1 underscore. So if you are looking to get a little bit movement in your body, I am a personal trainer. Um, that's actually my job, my full-time job. And so I'm doing live um, Instagram workouts, which actually you guys have been joining in on. They're free with an option to pay what you can to support me. Um, and then I'm also doing one-on-one -on -one personal training sessions, which are not free. Those are uh, $25 for 30 minutes, but they're through video. So FaceTime or Zoom or WhatsApp or, you know, whatever like video app uh, program you feel most comfortable with, we do it through there. Um, so I... It's like I kind of have a reason to put makeup on, but like today was like a total just relaxed day. I didn't have any appointments or clients or anything like that, but I still woke up and put makeup on. Anyways, this is probably going to be like a rambly video, but I will just quickly like, I guess, showcase what like really had me going this week. And the first is the Unle Hendrickson. This is the Banana Bright Face Primer. I always shout this out and say it's one of my favorites, um, but then I get so stuck into private, what? Private project? Project? That's what I meant to say. Project PN um, products that I just like, it gets pushed to the side. So having a week of using it, I just absolutely love it. And then I think what I liked most about my, my makeup this week is I mixed these two foundations together with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion and we have the Born This Way and they mix so beautifully together and it's almost like full coverage when you use them together. I think separately they're more of like a medium coverage. Um, and then this is just a little bit too dark for me so it gave me like a little bit more of a tan than I have. I don't know, just like full coverage with a tan. I just like feeling my stuff. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that combo this week. Um, and then I just literally used every single thing that I pulled. So we'll, some of these just live in here. Palette of the, of the month, the Natural Lust Palette by Too Faced. Stunning. I posted a look on my Instagram. I have a fitness Instagram, which is at 
Make Life Fit one underscore, and then I have a makeup Instagram that's at Make Life Your Runway one underscore. And I posted a look on there using this this week, and I just really love it. I love that I can do one or done. Like today, I did um, just Sex Drive. That was the only color I patted on my lid, and then just blended it out into my crease. And then I was really looking at this the other day, and I was like, you know, really. If you go by rows, whether you go this way or you go this way, you can get a, like a full, full, full blown, beautiful look if you just kind of concentrate. Oh no, I just dug it. <gasps> no. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I just got a little aggressive there. <laughs> Anyways, if you go this way or you go this way, I think you can get really creative and have fun with this palette. So one day this week, um, I think it's actually the look that's on my Instagram. I did this whole row. So, um, was it this row? Yeah, so I did like silk robe all over the eye, call me black and call me back set in stone in the crease. Then I just kind of mixed all of these on my lid. Super pretty. I don't know, I really love this and it's kind of a shame I neglected it for a couple of months in my collection, but I'm glad that that is the palette of the month. And then the rest of this I just love. It's just like classic, like Dallas from Benefit, Urban Decay's Fetish, absolutely stunning. Um, love Opal by Becca, beautiful, especially like in the inner corner of your eye. Love that. Love the Hourglass setting powder. Love the Too Faced um, Sweet Tea. Yeah, Sweet Tea. Um, definitely hit up the Smashbox Contour. Love that. And then the Babe in Paradise. This is a nice palette. I usually stick to the top row, but sometimes I'll actually throw these darker colors into my contour. Again, I just, I loved every single makeup look I I had this week. And, it, you know, this theme was my oldest makeup. And it kind of just proved to me, like, why I just, like, keep these things in my collection for an extended amount of time. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put these away and then shop my stash. Okay, since we have a palette of the month that is eyeshadow, we're just gonna go ahead and skip all of this. So this part won't match the theme of like iconic YouTube <laughs> products, but the rest will. I told you guys last week there were taller versions of these clear containers. Um, so I went ahead and bought them from Amazon and I will have them linked down below for you. Um, I think it was like $24.99, like $25 basically. And I love it because the foundations fit in it. And even tall foundations, like I would say this Revolution Conceal and Hydrate is my tallest. And like she fits real nice in there. <laughs> um, and so I have primers and foundations in here. And then loose and pressed powders in here. So iconic let's start with primer oh I feel like we have to pull these two because it's got to be one of these two as far as iconic YouTube primers so the Too Faced Hangover RX come on now come on now <laughs> and then the uh, Laura Mercier foundation primer and radiance so Laura Mercier if you guys haven't been watching YouTube for the last seven years was like one of the uh, few products that was hyped in the beginning like they had that cream foundation which I think that was like a little bit before my time or maybe right when I was getting into YouTube and I wasn't spending that much on makeup at the time but the brand in general is just so iconic and classic like they don't over release products everything they have is just traditional and beautiful so I think these would be like the best primers to pull for the week to make to match the theme of iconic <laughs> as far as foundations go obviously the um the born this way is pretty iconic here on YouTube um I'm trying to think the one that comes to mind, and I think we might have to stay in the Laura Mercier ca uh, category, is, this is like more recent iconic, but, uh, okay, let's pull the other one too. 
So they're foundations. Um, we have the Laura Mercier Soft Glow Soft Illuminous Foundation. And then we have the Laura Mercier Flawless Luminaire Radiance Perfecting Foundation. This one's newer, like within the last year. But the Candle Glow has been around for a really long time. And for my collection, these are the most iconic foundations. Oh my gosh, is this going to be a Laura Mercier? <laughs> <laughs> themed video okay um I mean okay the I'm obviously the Laura Mercier translucent is pretty iconic and well loved before time and now but let's stick with a like some newer ones I guess I think that would be the Too Faced, this is the uh, Born This Way Translucent Powder. This came out a few years back and it took me a while to jump on the bandwagon for it, but it is absolutely stunning. I have dry skin and I spend a lot of time putting like luminous <laughs> products on my face. So I really judge a powder by does the luminosity glow through the powder or did it completely mattify it? I posted my empties this week, which was uh, favorites and empties, and I talked about a powder in there that just, I decided by the time I finished it, I didn't love it because it totally mattified my face. Um, this does not do that, and I think that's the one reason I love it so much. So we'll pull that. And then another product that is pretty iconic here on YouTube is the Essence Pure Nude. And the reason I keep it with my powders opposed to my highlighters is it is like very subtle <laughs> as a highlight and that's okay but I love this to like dust over my face almost like a finishing powder once I have finished my makeup again I have dry skin so I put on like a lot of glowy products <laughs> so that might not be your case if you do not have dry skin as well but that's how I prefer to use it and then over here we have concealer so my concealer collection isn't huge so you see a lot of the same concealers over and over but I think a couple let's just pull two that if you're looking at this selection the most iconic is the uh, Bendy Avocado Concealer by First Aid Beauty this came out and it was like everybody absolutely everybody talked about it and I typically don't get products until after the hype so I didn't get this until after the hype but I do like it the color is a little bit off for me that's why I don't pull it all the time but it is a cool product and it definitely fits that iconic category but also newer ish to um I guess just YouTube history <laughs> is this this is the uh, born this way multi-use concealer Again by Too Faced. And my color is in Almond. I think I could have gone lighter, honestly. But it still works for me. And I do like it. I don't necessarily use it to like sculpt and contour like it claims. Because the whole premise is you could buy different shades and use it in different ways. But I just use it as actual concealer. But I really do like it. And I do really like the Born This Way line in general. I didn't get their pressed powder when it was on sale from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. Just because I felt like it didn't have good reviews. And it was still like $20 or something with the sale. So I just passed. But if you've used it and you think it's worth the money, let me know. I would love to know. Iconic lips. Ooh. I mean... Too Faced is pretty iconic just because it's been around for so long, but I love my Melted Mattes. Um, they've been around for a long time. This one in particular is in Queen Bee. I was watching Declutters. I watch so many Declutters, and I, I feel like that's what people are posting right now, and I'm just like living for it, but I like to go back and watch old Declutters, especially from Shannon XL, and it's really funny seeing these uh, in older declutter videos. So we'll go ahead and pull that and let's see what else comes to mind. Mm. I have a very, just like my concealers, I have a very small collection of lip products. I mean, it's large, but it's not. <laughs> but I feel like we have to talk about ColourPop lippy sticks. Do you remember when these came out, I don't know, four or five years ago, and everyone 
owned one of every color. This one is in Cami Matte 1914, and this was gifted to me by my friend Danielle for Chris. I think it was Christmas. Um, I absolutely love it. Actually, I probably should have swatched Queen Bee, but it's a really pretty color that's like every day. You can wear it for spring. You can use wear it for fall. I love it. Let me swatch Queen Bee for you guys as well. This is one of my favorite colors. Like, I can throw this on with every look in there. Some what similar. I have a haul video coming up next week, and there's a lot of lip swatches in it. And you'll see, like, Mama knows what family she lives in, okay? <laughs> but, yeah, we'll pull those. I think from my collection, those are the most iconic um you know there's things like the buxom lip glosses which i pull often or the wet and wilds um but i think the two i pulled are like the biggest like you probably own it too wait i forgot in eyes there's actually a couple iconic things we can pull out mac painterly this is actually my um eyelid primer i've been using concealer recently because march i did an all drugstore month and i don't have a drugstore um eyeshadow base but we need to bring this back in. And what is more iconic than Painterly? Come on now. Come on now. But I also... This isn't so iconic, but I just really want to pull it. So we'll get off script for a minute. <laughs> We're not on script, but you know what I mean. This is Top Yacht Chrome Paint by Tarte. Um, I guess the packaging is new now. They have like a see-through lid so you can see the color. But it is this really pretty gold shade and I think it would pair well with the palette of the month okay so here is top yacht a very pretty gold color stunning on the lids and I think this will complement a lot of colors in that natural lust palette so we'll pull her and let's go down to base products okay these were the containers i was referring to in the beginning they're a little bit smaller they're like 21 dollars on amazon I really want to get one more of each. So they come together. So you get these two in a set and you get those two larger ones in a set. Um, but I think I just want to get one more of each. And then I think I'll have my dream <laughs> organizational for, you know, for now. <laughs> okay. Bronzer. Dang, guys. Okay. Of course, butter bronze. Of course, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This one's just in bron bronzer. Iconic. Hourglass is pretty iconic. Um, let's just stick with one so I can really like dive in and enjoy it. I have actually panned one of these. It was in the light color. Um, and I missed it. And... So I wanted to get a new one. I got this like in January, I think. But love that. I feel like, you know, I've been panning products for a really long time. And I'm going to continue to pan products so because I really enjoy it. And I love knowing that I've gotten my money out of a product. But I feel like I'm starting to change my views on it. Um, if I love a product, I can I go back and forth, and I talked about this a little bit last week as well, but if I really love a product, unless it's going bad, why pan it? Like, then I'm just going to go rebuy it. So why, why pan it? So I think my project painting is going to start sticking to just more so products that are older, or if I'm trying to downsize a category of my collection, like I'm trying to downsize primers and foundations this year. Um, <laughs> so... You know, I guess if I have, like, themes or goals, I'll go for it. But to do it to do it, I'm really changing my views on that. But anyways, for highlight, um, oh, come on, y'all. Y'all already know, ABH Amrezy. People are saying uh, one of the Revlon new highlighters is a dupe for this. But um, I love my gold tones. They might... Be a little dark, but light hand, y'all. We make dreams happen. So we will pull that. Um, um, oh, please hold it. MAC, hello. <laughs> this is MAC Soft and Gentle. I feel like this is one of the very first highlighters other than the, the bomb, 
Luminizer, whatever it's called. I never actually owned that one, but I love this one. This one is just like lit from within type highlighter. It does have a little bit more glitter to it, I feel like, than the Amrezy, but I love it, love it, love it. As far as blush, <laughs> of course, MAC blushes, like, duh. Um, oh, here we go. Milani Luminoso. You can't talk about Iconic without mentioning this. This is just like a sample size that was a free gift with a purchase. But it is a really nice um, like peach color. The nice thing about these is they have a glow to them. So if you are trying to be in a hurry or have a light look, you can get away with not using highlighter with it. I mean, not that I would, but you could. <laughs> oh my gosh. Clinique Cheek Pops. Y'all, y'all. This one is a nude. Um, this is just so subtle. I remember when I got this a couple years ago, you guys were like, that's my favorite one. Um, so I know you guys love this one as well. The nude in particular, but the nude pops are nice. Um, Tart, I mean, duh, but we'll, we'll move along. I think we'll just stick with those two. If I pull too many... Um, I get overwhelmed <laughs> through the week. Uh, okay, and then as far as palettes go, this actually, uh, we'll pull this soon, but Kristen, uh, who is here on YouTube, we did a collab for Valentine's Day. Um, she had sent me this. She got it from Marshalls on sale for $16.99. It's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Royal Gold. Um, we'll pull this at a different time, but I will just show it to you guys real quick. She sent me, like, a care package, which was super sweet of her. But here is what it looks like. And I swatched it once already. We'll just swatch right here. So, of course, it's like that gold, rose gold type of color that I like. Pretty similar in tone to the MAC, um, but a little bit darker. So we will pull that. She also like sent me, actually I'll show you, it's just sitting next to me. Um, like these kind of like foam cord type hair ties. I love these things. She sent me quite a few uh, masks. There's a Pure Elise, uh Watermelon 2 Minute Polish Peel. This glitter Barbie one, I want to try it. And then the Wonder Beauty Peel Mask. I personally don't love peel mask, but Jared, oddly enough, does, my husband, so I'm putting his business out there. <laughs> and then she sent me all these skin masks, which I actually really love skin masks. This is the 111 Skin um, Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment, so I'm definitely going to love using these guys. And then the other thing that she sent that I'm so excited about is the... Um, Grace and Stilla Spray All Day Rose Spray. I love rose. Here is what the bottle looks like. I actually, I just need to move this into my bathroom. Um, I've been telling you guys I'm going to clean my beauty room with you. That's coming this week. But I feel like since I decided I was going to do that on camera, this room has just gotten like so trashed. <laughs> um, but I need to move this to my bathroom or just somewhere where I'm going to use it, you know? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Palettes. What is iconic? Oh, this one. This was sent to me by one of you guys, so thank you. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Yes, yes. This is stunning. It's expensive. It's stunning. I'm glad to have it. <laughs> and I think like the Hourglass Holiday ones in general are good. One of them broke. I was reorganizing my makeup like I always do, and it broke, and I just, I can't bring myself to throw that little piece away, but um, I definitely want to pull one of these palettes for palette of the month coming up soon. I don't know, maybe we'll do that in May, because that will be when face palettes are back up in rotation, um, but these are pretty iconic, but I'm going to skip out on that. Also... The Tarte Circle, like the all-in-one face palettes. I remember when I first started watching YouTube and I saw these, I was like, I need to have it. And I actually bought this from 
um, like a another you or Instagram. I don't think she ever had a channel, but she had like a pretty big Instagram makeup account. And so she was doing a makeup sale. This was like years ago. <laughs> I probably have personally owned this for three years. And I don't know how long she's owned it. But I like can't bring myself to get rid of it. If you watched my winter declutter, you guys saw my struggle. I was like, I just can't get rid of it. But these palettes, they don't make them like this anymore. Like they obviously still make face palettes. But they just don't make the circle ones unless they're like the holiday. But even this last holiday, 2019, they didn't do like this type of blush thing so I don't know it's just like YouTube history right there oh these are pretty iconic too the ABH glow kits I'm missing a color in here because it's in my Z palette um I'm gonna skip it just because I have pulled so much but while we're on the topic I thought I would pull or show you guys that I feel like from my personal collection Leaving out eyeshadow palettes, that's pretty as iconic as we're going to get. Obviously, the Urban Decay All-Nighter. But I have, this is a backup, so I have another one in use already. But, yeah, let's put it all together. Alright, guys, so here is the, um, the basket. Pretty full, pretty full, just like last week, but I actually went through all the products. So we'll see how we do this week with working through the products. I'm still panning stuff, but I've been really having fun digging through my collection and kind of having a theme in mind. You guys like the idea last week of doing a throwback um, shot my stash, so I do want to do that. That's just going to take like a little bit extra effort that I just kind of felt like I want to film right now, so I didn't take that effort today. But We'll definitely take it in the future. So yeah, here's everything that we're gonna pull. I'm excited to use these products. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are all well, staying sane, fighting your urge to shop online while we're trapped at home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know y'all feel that. Okay, anyways, I hope you are all well. Have a great weekend, a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.